placement of a polarizer assembly inside a Panasonic projector. Inside there are a few little bits that uh, over time get damaged from too much heat, either from poor cleaning or just uh, bad maintenance. In this case it's the uh, blue LCD channel that's having the problem. Underneath there I removed this piece here, this optical polarizer. In fact I think, yep there you go. That's what would show up on the screen. So we're changing that out and I'm also changing out that polarizer there. Hello. Okay and maybe you can see under there that piece of glass right underneath the LCD panel that's actually that's uh, the projection polarizer and this is the incidence polarizer the incidence polarizer is adjustable that's how you adjust the uh, the fine gain of the color through the LCD panel uh, in this case only the blue ones bad which is good because changing all three would be expensive and a pain but in this case it's not too bad uh, this projector is a uh, Panasonic PTAX. Let's see, it's a PTAX 200U. You can see I already disassembled it. Normally, the optical assembly here would drop down into there. I have it sitting sideways because I haven't glued the polarizer in yet. Let me see if this focuses better. This might focus better. So, yeah, it would sit down in there. There's the output lens right there. Let's see, you got your red incidence polarizer and your green right there and then your blue and uh, I'll show you when I put it back together so I'm going to glue in the projection polarizer okay here's the LCD assembly sometimes it's known as an optic block or optic assembly you can see all three panels there you got your red green blue and they combine through that cube in the middle there which is actually four separate pieces of glass which are hooked together or bonded rather to uh, project the image out through here. And uh, that surface will be cleaned before it goes back in because the cleaner the better. Okay, well I got the polarizer installed. I was not able to film it because it requires both hands and some concentration and being that this is a $120 piece of glass that I stuck in there, did not want to take a chance on breaking it. You can see there's two little adhesive pads on either side. They hold it in place. And uh, other than that, that's it. It's in. So now I'm going to put the incidence polarizer in the projector itself and then put this all back together and align it and try it out. So uh, let's see if I can get more footage of that as I keep going. Alright, installing the incidence polarizer is actually really easy. Let's see if we can get the camera over here. There we go. I don't know how you guys do this. Work and film at the same time. Take that screw out. And actually I made a note of a little mark in that plastic there that shows me where the screw was. That'll give me a rough position of where to put the new one. The new one comes in the little bracket and everything. It's ready to drop in. So we just set that down in there. Let's see, here we go. We'll set that down in there. Make sure it's over top of the threads. Alright, now we just put that screw back in. And that moved, so I'm just going to snug, barely snug it down enough so I can push it back towards center. It was a little towards the back, so I'll just kind of get it about there. It might be okay, actually. We'll find out. Oops, it moved. The only bummer about these, well, the only bummer, one of the bummers about these is that if it moves or if it's not in the right position, you have to take it all apart again, at least down to, to get to that screw to adjust it. Okay, and now I'm going to put the LCD assembly or optic block back in. That's pretty straightforward, actually. It just kind of drops in. Just like that. You can see there's the uh, ribbon cables to each one of the LCDs and some alignment pins and some places for screws. So I'm going to screw that in and then we'll put the rest of it back together. And if you notice, I don't have the screws in yet. There's one that goes there too. It's because I want to test it first. I want to make sure there's no problems. Make sure the alignment's good. Make sure the color purity's good. 
So I got the power plugged in and now I'm gonna hook up a VGA signal here. Let's get a nice white background and that'll tell us if they're if everything's okay because uh, if it's not there's gonna be a big yellow spot in the screen. If it is okay it'll be nice and white. So let's see, let's turn power on there. Let's see, do we get a standby? Yep, we have standby. Let's see. In fact, actually, I'm going to turn the light off here. Hold on a second. There we go. So, let's see. Power. Let's see. Lamp strikes. Yep, lamp strikes. There's the auto iris moving back and forth, doing its little thing. That lamp's coming on, and let's see. Do we have... Ooh, that's good. That, that glare there, that's that's just the reflection of the uh, lens on the whiteboard. This isn't a real screen, it's just a whiteboard. But that glare is probably going to go away as the picture warms up here. Let's see if it does or not. There we go. Okay, now before, right around here, there was this yellow blob looking thing and that is obviously not there anymore you would really notice it I mean it was yellow yellow and that's what happens when a polarizer burns out you get a nasty color in the middle it's common on Sony rear projection TVs uh, it's also common on Hitachi really anything with an LCD panel they use a polarizer inside and those polarizers have uh, I guess it's a plastic or composite type material that fails once it gets too hot for too long so now that we know that picture's good, just gonna kind of give it a once over here. Make sure there's no light leakage where there shouldn't be, and I don't see any of that. So uh, I'm gonna power it down. Let's see if that shows up. Yep, it's powered down. Oh, and it is upside down because this guy hangs his projector on the ceiling. So we'll turn it off, and I'll try to get some videos of me buttoning it up. Okay. I got those screws back in, wires are all tight, disconnect my VGA cable there. Cannot turn off the power yet, you can see the uh, fan's still spinning there. Projectors are designed to run the fans for a determined period of time. Uh, sometimes they run it on a timer, sometimes it just follows a temperature sensor, but the whole idea is to cool that lamp down, that very, very expensive lamp and to cool it down properly so it lasts as long as uh, you can hope. So once the fans turn off I'll put the back on, uh, give it another visual once over and then we'll put the top on and I'll try it again. Last screw. There we go. Nice. And we'll check the filter just for the heck of it. Filter looks fine. Filter's going back in. All right, we'll try it again. I always test them after they're repaired, or I should say after they're reassembled. Murphy's Law says if you don't test them after they're reassembled, it will not work. So, check, you can't see it, but standby light is on. Lens caps off. Power button. Looking good so far. Okay, let's turn it sideways. And it still has that, that glare spot right uh, up oh, there we go. Right there. That's just from the lens reflecting off the white. As we can see the picture looks good. Projector is reassembled. Another one down, another customer happy. Thanks for watching.